So we were just talking about um, the bunting. We we're just obsessed with bunting. Um, but we've kind of worked out, like, so Gillian, tell me what you found out there. Uh, I found out that Coca-Cola is actually, well, that's the advertisement, it's not bunting, I suppose, but Coca-Cola have been asking villagers if they want, you know, if they can come through and put up advertising. So we don't know how much of a question this is, or if it's, you know, more forced question, but they're getting asked, which is better than what we thought. Mm -hmm. um, Tom Telf also asked not to put up their own bunting because the money council, who's their local authority, they're going to come down and put it up, so it'll be interesting to see whether that's London 2012 bunting that they've bought mm -hmm. uh, or not, because we'll have to wait and see what that is. Yeah. Because obviously all the local authorities have had the option to buy that. So far I've only seen it in Ayr in Glasgow, mm -hmm. and then when you came north there wasn't any, but we put that down to the Highlands, uh, not having very much money and too many events and too many places to cover, so... Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in Tom Tell tomorrow. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm, con I'm interested in... here. I'm interested in the. Uh, there's, there's like free. It's not like written down, but there's like the three strands of like stuff that's happening. Is like, so you've got the official local bunting that. I mean, I'd be interested in how much that costs, and I'm sure we could find that out um, through sort of freedom of information requests and stuff. And I think that stuff looks really good. I think the Olympic rings looks really, really good. I think that. Um, I mean, and I'm saying this sincerely. Like it's. Rainbow, it's lovely, it's inspired our generation and now a week ago I'd have said, having it outside my window, I'd have went, please take this down, this is awful, nobody's asked permission, but actually I prefer the Olympic rings to be there than, a, than the Coca-Cola stuff, because I find the Coca-Cola stuff is distracting because Euro 2012 started, a lot of the advertising is that as well, so Coca are obviously thinking onto their own thing. Um, it's a decision of the village if they want to use Coca-Cola, I don't know if a place like this would look good with Coca Cola. Actually, I think I think if they did their own, if there was a community, the community feels really nice. It's a real nice buzz. It's really good vibes about it. But I wonder what's going to happen tomorrow if Coca Cola turn up and start putting it up because it would, will literally look like they're occupying the space. So that's really what I'm kind of thinking. So there's the the local authorities deciding to buy bunting from Locog, which I think Locog should have given that out. Um, the Coca Cola stuff. And then his homemade stuff. And actually, in the spirit of this project, Citizen really, I, I get like Citizen Bunting. That's the, I think that's the way forward. But yeah, and the last thing I was going to say was we don't know what the bunting is from the uh, Murray Council, so it might be recycled Jubilee stuff. That's what people are sort of speculating about. That's just because the Murray Council doesn't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not being political, but I think no. that's. I think that's